Hey guys, I'm making this video um, because it seems that a lot of people are having a problem putting um, John Crixus's Four Pillars of Bible on their multiplayer server. So I, w I just want to show you real quick um, what you need to do. I already made a video on on this on how to make a server for Minecraft, but uh, it, I don't I don't think that helped the guy. I think because I, I, I may have gotten distracted or whatever. But right now I'm currently um, playing on uh, Minecraft 1.1. I do have the new snapshot and I did an update. But <clears throat> make sure you're on the current version of Minecraft. All right, that's been released, not any snapshot or what have you. Okay. Um, and I'm hoping this will work without Hamachi because I haven't really had Hamachi on my computer in a while now. But um, anyhow. You see this? This is my Minecraft 1.1 server, and I just created it by downloading this Minecraft um, server exe off the w off the internet. I double-clicked it, and this launcher window comes up, and you'll see that it's preparing the world. Okay. Now, what it did was it created all these files for me. It also created a world for me. So if I go into this world now which I'm going to try to do because if I can't get in here yeah I think I'm going to be able to do it okay now we're going to get my minecraft up and this um, launcher this MC launcher lets you have more RAM to your minecraft I do have a uh, video on that too so if you're interested in giving uh, more RAM to minecraft go ahead and uh, watch that video um, it might be in my dev hit quickies I don't I don't know where I put it but anyway um, let's go to multiplayer let's add a server Minecraft server. Uh, local holes. Done. Okay, so that's me right here. Alright, and the, the reason why I put local holes is because I don't need an IP to connect to myself. So this is the world that I just created. Okay, it's going to be a blank world. Nothing's going to. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, so you don't need a machi for this. Well, you would need a machi for this if you want other people to connect to you. So you may need to have Hamachi running. And now this is for people who have this server on their computer. If you have your server online, you're going to have to go to the place who hosts your server and tell them you want to put this this map on your server. What you're going to have to do is probably make a backup of your old world. And you should be doing that anyway. And once you make a backup of your old world, put upload to Four Pillar Survival, hopefully via um, FTP. Um, and if you don't have a server with FTP, you really should get one because um, it's much better than using the console. Anyhow, so that's that's that. We're gonna close that out. Now we're gonna go back into. Well, first we make sure we ch we close the server because you don't only wanna. Well, I could have left Minecraft going. It really didn't matter. Okay, so now you wanna find your server properties. Okay, you double click on this and you see where it says level name world. Well, we don't want that world. We want to go play Four Pillar Survival. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my downloads where I got Four Pillar Survival right here. And you see it has the icon of WinRAR. And what you do is, uh, let's see, in options, settings, I think. Um, uh, yeah, integration. Okay, so if you're in here and you WinRAR, select zip. And um, anything else. All WinRAR opens all of these. Okay, so if you're on a Mac or whatever, I don't know if you can use a Mac, uh, use this. This video is not for Mac people. Uh, you're on your own with that if you have a Mac. But this is what it would look like if I opened it in WinRAR. If you open it in WinZip, uh, let's see, I got WinZip right here as well. So I can open it in WinZip and I'll show you both these windows. What? Go away. Okay, so this one. It look it looks a little different. This is why I prefer WinRAR over WinZip because, and you may be able to do this with WinZip. You can may maybe show the the file name instead of all these individual or the rather the folder name. But I I prefer WinRAR. I don't really like WinZip. WinZip or WinRAR. I got the option of actually right clicking on this and extracting this um, right here. I can extract this folder right to this folder that I'm in. I'm in my downloads folder. All I gotta do is right click and extract here. And I can extract this exactly like this or I can double click on it. Click on the four pillar survival. Go down here to my MC states. Go to my server. Go to my MC server and you see this? This is where it says world. Okay, make sure you're in your server. Not your world. Because one guy posted that he um, 
he put the file inside this world folder. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that because this is your world that you created already. It's not going to work if you put it in there. It's not going to even acknowledge it. So what you want to do is you want to put it in your server folder. I'll say okay. I'm extracted. Okay. The way you do it with this one is what I would do in this case is I'm going to make a temporary. Um, I'm going to select all the files in here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract them to the same folder but I'm going to call it a different name so let's uh, let me get down here to states um, servers minecraft 1.1 server okay so you would click on the server right and go up here and get to the very end alright so you use your little arrow key and now I'm at the very end that's when I would put a backslash and I would call it four pillar okay I'm not even going to call it Fourth Pillar Survival 1.1. I'm just going to call it Fourth Pillar because you, then you'll have both files in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract them in there and see if it takes the folder. If it doesn't, then I'll have them in a in their own folder anyway. Okay, so Fourth Pillar Survival. Okay, so it did do it. All right, so this is the zip file. So what you would do is all those files that were open and exposed in the WinZip it would extract in a file. Sometimes that doesn't happen or in a folder. Sometimes that doesn't happen and you'll have a scattering of files all over the place and you'll be like ah! So I always make a, a, a folder first just to extract in the zip. Well I used to when I wasn't using WinRER. Okay so we don't need this one. So we're gonna get rid of that and we're just gonna work with this one. So what I do like I had in the other video is I right click on it and I go change name or rename or whatever that was and I copy this alright because no matter how good you type you might make a mistake so we'll go back to the server properties and you see where it says level name world well bam change save okay close that file launch your server and it's the same exact thing you want to do for your online um, if you have a um, um, a uh, what you call it um, an online server you want to do the same thing. You want to upload that file or Pillar Survival, go into your properties and change the level name of your world. We'll go to multiplayer and we'll join the server. Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. Up, up, up. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on a second. Alright, well, that's a problem that I had with, um, hold on. Oh, uh. No! Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, I think I have to Shit. Okay. Oh, up, 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 up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, wait a minute. I think I gotta fix my um hold on, title screen. Let's go back. <laughs> That's a little problem that I had with Pam and Chandler is they couldn't get their game mode fixed fast enough. So um, anyway, w y you see how it doesn't have an admins file? Well, I'm gonna put myself in here, Deppy, because this is a new file. This is a new um, server. I just made it, so it's not really gonna have um, these files. And what I like to do is um, I like to put an admins file in here, and then you put everybody who you want on your server. Um, you put it in that file, and then you put it on your uh, you could do that in the whitelist too. If you're more familiar with the light, I don't bother with all that mess because it's it's just a headache for me. So go ahead and take that out, and then start your server again. You want to make sure you restart the server. Uh, you don't have to restart your game. I keep closing my game for some stupid reason, but you can leave your game going. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out. I'm gonna have to beat this game real quick. I have to beat it. Edit. Okay, so game mode debt fig zero. Oh no! <laughs> Shit. Hold on. Oh, I'm in early zero. Okay, respawn. Shit. Damn it. One. Here we go. Okay. Now, bitches. Oh, I don't think so. Sorry, I'm not calling you guys bitches. Unlike some people, they don't call uh, my viewers bitches. Okay, so I'm sorry if you've seen any any anything on there. You shouldn't be seeing anything on there, but uh, you may have to do that. Okay, you may have to go in game mode. You may have to put yourself in an admin folder, but 
this is what you'll get. You get, as you can see, there's no additional world. There's no chunks showing up. There's none of that shit. Um, I'll go in video, and you. Oop, it was on far. So as you saw, that there's nothing showing up. There may be some stuff that shows up later on. I don't know. But as you see, this is what you get. Okay. Now you're gonna have to be quick of fingers in order to get that game mode in. But you can also put the game mode in your um, in your settings. You can change the game mode in your settings, in your server properties, um, game mode, zero. You can set it to one, I think, and then go in your server, put yourself back on um, on the island, and then come back out, put it back at zero, save it again, and then go back in. Um, uh, but you have to be an admin or an op, and you have to be on the whitelist, I guess. I don't know. But um, there it is. That's all you have to do. I mean, it's really simple, and I showed you from start to finish, and there was no additional chunks in the world. There was no mess. So I hope it works for you guys, and I hope you're not on a Mac, because I don't know what to do on a Mac. Later.